And remember, we're talking about keys. Not a single key that opens the door to salvation, as some believe. Also, keep in mind that we are talking about the kingdom of God. Put in another term, the government of God. I believe Jesus was referring, uh, referencing God's government in this discussion with the disciples because of where he chose to have this discussion and the terms he used in speaking to his disciples. Also, Jesus' timing and location were perfect, of course. They provided the backdrop for an illustrative lesson on what could uh, 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 be done with keys issued by the government and correctly used. I'm saying this because Caesarea Philippi was a region that was gifted. In other words, uh, uh, Philip was given the keys to. <laughs> Philip the Tetrarch, who was really the only good son of Herod the Great. It was formerly known as Pantheus, named after the Greek god Pan who had shrines there. The region was strongly identified with various religions. It had been the center for Baal worship and Herod the Great had built a temple there to honor Augustus Caesar. But with the keys now in possession of Philip, he beautified and enlarged the region and and, and uh, it became known as a quiet, peaceful retreat. Philip changed his name to Caesarea uh, uh, in honor of the Roman emperor and added, added Philippi after his name to distinguish it from the other Caesarea in the region. It was here that Peter received a promise from Jesus that upon the rock of Peter's confession of faith, he would build his church. The Greek word for church is ecclesia, and it has been misinterpreted as meaning church because of its view as a religious term. However, it is more of a governmental term. 